I've been wanting to make an apron to wear around while doing messy farm chores during the warmer months. Um, in, the, in the colder months, I tend to wear a, an oversized jacket over all of my layers and that basically does the job of an apron, keeping my under layers clean. Uh, in the summertime, not so much all the layers, so I want to make an apron to uh, help keep my clothes a bit cleaner. So there are two features that I really want uh, for my farm chore apron. One is that the pockets need to be easy to clean. I have um, had tomatoes split and make quite a mess. I've had tomatoes split and make quite a mess in pockets and also uh, smashed eggs are something that happens in a lot of pockets on the homestead. Not much, so much mine, I tend to drop them on the ground, but <laughs> but definitely it is something that happens to a lot of people. So easy to clean pockets. The second thing is I don't want it to be a super fussy apron. Uh, all of the fancy details are neat, but this is an apron that I expect an animal to get poop on at some point. So I don't want anything super fancy. The fabric I'm using is Kaufman yarn dyed Essex in espresso. It's a cotton linen blend. I chose this color specifically because dirt is brown. I made some rough sketches with measurement notes to sort out what I would need to cut for my apron. The bib was the most involved piece to create. I started by marking off the outer edge at the waist. Then I marked the top edge of the bib. For the curve under the arm, I first chalked a diagonal line connecting the top and bottom edges of the bib as a guide. Next, I used a French curve to round under the arm and adjust the angle to the back. I cut out the bib, then measured, marked, and cut all the rectangles for the other pieces. Except... I've just realized that I was supposed to cut out the waistband on the fold, and I didn't do that, so now I have to cut it again. Alright, both layers of the waistband are now being cut on the fold. The outer edges of the bib are turned under twice and stitched down. Then the bib and one waistband piece are sewn together. The sides of the apron skirt are folded over twice and sewn down. The same is done for the skirt hem. Two lines of basting stitches are sewn onto the top edge for gathering. And then it's gathered down until the top edges match the waistband. Those are sewn together. So I decided to fill down the second layer of the waistband. It took a few hours spread over three days to do. Because I wanted this apron done sooner rather than later, I opted to machine stitch the bottom edge of the waistband. Next, I folded the edge of the waistband to the wrong side of the apron and machine basted it to keep it in place. 
I then backstitched by hand to make the loops that the straps go through. The many layers of fabric made this a bit difficult to do. The long edges of the straps were sewn and then I turned them right side out. The short edges were turned under and sewn closed. Then I turned the curved edges of the bib under twice and stitched them down. Before I sew the top seam on uh, the top of the bib on the apron, I'm going to finish the ends of my straps and then when I go and do the top seam, I can just sew the straps on at the same time. The straps and the top edge of the bib were sewn together. Finally, the pocket. I made one large pocket and centered it on the skirt. Overall, I'm really happy with how the apron turned out. A few changes I would make is probably to do two pieces of the bib and that way I could tuck um, the straps under there tidily and so there wouldn't be that seam there. Uh, and the other change I would make is instead of just the one big pocket, I would probably do multiple smaller pockets across the front. Um, and then it wouldn't want to sag open since the skirt of the apron is gathered. Otherwise, I'm very happy with it. The fabric is nice and sturdy and being brown, it doesn't show all the dirt and it's great for gathering in the harvest.